through this exercise 4.12, we are going to review the relationship among the expected present value of a few life insurance products. A70 is the expected present value of a discrete whole life insurance product, and the benefit is 1 euro payable at the end of year of the death. And this is the expected present value of endowment insurance, which is the summation of term insurance for 20 years, which is noted as with the actual one here, denoting term insurance, plus a pure endowment insurance. If this person can survive 20 years, then they get one euro benefit, which is noted as with additional one, a different location. Sometimes this term here also denote as, okay, and we just talk about this is the term insurance. And this is the expect present value for whole life insurance for age 50. In this exercise, we need to calculate A70. In fact, A50, A70, and the term insurance are related in the following way. So when we think about the present value of whole life insurance for age 50, you can split it. So we can look at the first 20 years and the years afterwards. So in the first 20 years, it is a term insurance. And if this person can survive 20 years and after 20 years become age 70, then he's going to receive benefit afterwards. That is, but remember, this notation is expected present value starting from this time point. But now we are standing here, so we need to discount it back. So we need to multiply by this discount factor. So here we have an equation, and uh, we can use this equation to solve A70. In this equation, we know almost everything except this term. And remember, we have a connection between endowment and pure endowment insurance. So based on this, we can solve the discount factor, which is also the expect the present value of the pure endowment insurance, it is right, which is this number. Okay, so now we have the term we need. In the end, and our final answer is 